time to do any video this week and the reason being I've been busy shopping so I'm going to quickly jump on into live streaming and share with you what are the things top things or top items you should get as a prepper um, so I'm having all these items laid out and first of all I want to welcome you guys into my channel my name is Esti I'm a Singaporean and I'm living in Norway we should stay fit don't you think uh, I won't consider myself very fit so I'm working towards that direction so I think mentally prepared is also very important you must be mentally prepared for the worst to happen uh, but of, of course you should also be hopeful and also you know you should at least have some peace and accept the accept the fact that you know we all are going to face the same situation right now sweden we don't have war but we have to prepare ourselves now for inflation so i'm going to be doing another video about what is actually going on in sweden uh, and how do i prepare in terms of uh, pantry and also what have i done so far uh, like i said earlier i've been busy really doing all the preparation job which in fact i should be doing like a few years ago but i do it like now these two weeks so it has been very stressful uh, for me so I try not to, you know, put on more stress on myself, setting aside because I really don't have the time to, you know, edit video anytime, <laughs> any anymore. I mean, so what I'm be doing is that um, I will share with you what are the fifteen items. Let's jump onto not fifteen items. I think it's more than fifteen items here. So I'm going to jump onto what is most important, you guys. You can live without food for one, two days, but you cannot live without water. Water is the most important things. In fact, yesterday, I spent the whole afternoon filling up whatever things I can find at home because we've been out uh, shopping for empty bottle tank or maybe those, bang, uh, you know, those big uh, container, plastic container or maybe with some, uh, you know, where you have a tap. So the situation here is it is running out of stock. Everywhere you go, it's, the shelves are empty. So water is really important. And do you ne must have all these items like, you know, the professional prepper? Uh, actually, no, you see. Guys, this is Coca-Cola bottle. And everybody has, everybody has this kind of bottle at home. If you don't have, go outside, you know, the house. Uh, go in the house and search because uh, you can easily find things that you can fill up uh, waters with. I fill up this uh, thing, uh, a few of this, but I think I have more. So I'll probably be trying to fill up more. And also, because right now we still have water, so it is good that you have the chance to do that now. Do it now. And if the water gets older or maybe two, three months, and you want to have fresh water, you can always throw away the existing water and replace new water. But otherwise, I think water should be able to last at least a few months. And if the situation is worse, if you have water like a stream or a river, you know, it's still not safe to drink all those water. So it's good to have like a filter like this. So what I told LG is that you need to kill the bacteria uh, on uh, from those water that you have collected in the natural resources uh, boil it <laughs> very important I think boiling it will keep the bacteria uh, it will kill the bacteria and then after that use this kind of filter to filter the, the, the water just to make sure so this is uh, something that I bought like two years now I bought from Amazon and it comes with this filter which is replaceable so every uh, one and a half month i will replace this so i bought one big box uh, of this filter uh, so it should last me for at least you know one year so this filter is very good to have and and it's, it's um, something that you can carry with you you don't have to bring like a big 
tank with you. So I think that is really, really important. And if you don't have, you know, there are tablets that you can buy to um, get rid of the bacteria. So go to your pharmacy and check with the pharmacies, see if you can get hold of that pill. Uh, another thing that, that is really important is batteries. Yesterday, me and LG, or the day before yesterday, we went to stock up some batteries. So try to get different types. Uh, the reason a uh, charger, you know, you need lights, right? So it is very, very good to have batteries. At least this is not so much. This is just about, I don't know, how many is this? 40, 40 pieces. So this, if you used it, you know, uh, it should last us at least two months depending on what kind of light things uh the light things i have is those fairy lights you know where you just need two batteries and those fairy lights they take very little uh, energy or power so it is very very lasting another way is to light up is uh, by candles i have this type of candles these are the bigger one these are the smaller one so yesterday, my Facebook group friend, they sent me a photo and they said, Oh my God, you know, the, the, uh, what do you call that? The shop, they are raising, uh, they are increasing the price. Uh, you can buy at Ikea, if I'm not wrong, it's 59 or 49 for 100. But that one is for four hours, which is this small one. But the bigger one is, uh, uh, you know, is how many times more? three or four times more so that will last you longer and this should be able to last you about six eight hours so that is a lot of difference so this is really good um, if you um, during winter your house may be cold so the the candle will help to light up the house and at the same time give you some warmth because you will not have electricity right you will not have water so you have to t this is the only way out uh and also i have this kind of candle which people use for <laughs> we call it a graph uh, for the graveyard so graph use so this can be really good and this can be lasting like you know 16 hours i think this is uh yeah 16 hours so this can be quite good and otherwise, uh, if you don't have the another alternative, naturally is to heat up a, a what do you call that? This uh, patrol lamp where you can uh, you know use it around the house. So this lamp is refuel. Um, Another thing that which I find is very important, I, I saw on the TV, on the news, a lot of people, they are trying to charge their phone. So some of the places, they might have some uh, electricity. So this is one way where you can use to charge your telephone or use that to listen to the radio. So bring this along. This is very good because it has this on or switch and it has a fork long um, L1, 2, 3, 4 plugs. I have one which is a uh, six eight plus which is even better and uh, and then they have a you know special one usb charger where you can charge your phone too all right so this is something that we definitely need i'm just gonna put those things aside so that i know these are things that i already mentioned another thing that i find is really good uh is this one Huh? to keep yourself warm because you know Sweden is very cold uh, if you are outside you know uh, and you have to walk a long distance uh, this is a hot pack uh, which you can buy I got this from my sister um, so what you do is you remove this hot pack and then it comes with this really a white paper uh, like a tea bag you know so what you do is just shake them and then you put them into your clothes or in your hand if you are feeling cold so this is really good and it will last for eight hours 40 that's 40 degrees celsius so i have quite a few of them here so i usually 
want to put them in a ziplock bag and then I put all of them together so I know where to find them. Uh, also, another thing that I find is very good is uh, when you are on the go, right? You need to have cash. You must have cash because the ATM machine is not working. Um, you need to have money to buy things uh, if you have to go to abroad. So this is very good. This is actually a body stripes uh, wallet where you could strap it on under your clothes so it is safe. And then you could uh, have like a passport or no wallet. Nobody, nobody wear a wallet, right? So maybe a telephone and all your cash. Shop, you know, like uh, they have bags. And also, uh, we call it pang lampa. This is actually a lamp where you could have on your forehead uh, and then you wear it like a hat, <laughs> which is really, really good because you don't want to like be carrying the candle and then if the wind is strong, boom, no more, <laughs> no more, um, what do you call that? No more lights, right? So this is really good. So you have free hand to do things. Uh, another thing that I really like is, uh, oh yeah, candle, uh, what do you call that, lighting, lighter. So usually, you know, you do not know if how's the weather is going to be like. So it's, what I did this morning is I removed all my, uh, this is called uh, the matches. And then I put this, this is actually not very good. I do not know whether this is 100% waterproof. So it's good to have them. And then I remove the box, you know, so that I could light the candle. So it's really, really important. So I would like to put them in another box because I don't think so. This is 100% waterproof. And I have this one, which is the long one. This long. And then the same thing, I keep this so that I could light. Yeah. So you don't have to have like so many small boxes. So this is a mask you should have. And also, uh, when you are on the go, you need to go to the toilet. And then sometimes, you know, you don't have, you, you cannot shower like a few days. So what I have is this uh, baby wipes, which is really good. And also uh, cheap, uh, easy to carry, uh, you know, hygiene. Um, so this is a mask also. And... Uh, you never know what is going on, right? When you're on a move and maybe you have some food and depending on how long you've been on a move and sometimes you can get robbed. <laughs> so it's good to protect yourself. So I have with me some knife. This knife is quite good because it can, you know, you can cut and um, you can cut some small wood to burn so you can and it's also for protection uh, in case you get robbed or attacked. And LG has this one. This is a much bigger knife. This is for sawing. So if you want to saw some trees or some small trees or plant uh, twigs. So this is quite good to have. And also... Um, this one, very common uh, things that you have around the house. I suggest you, because, you know, you can protect your things. You can protect your bags. If you carry a back, backpack, you can protect your bag from being um, wet if it's raining. And, and, and then it also can be used to make, like, temporary shelter. So, it's really useful in many, many ways. Um... And I heard that um, a lot of survivor they must have this. Um, and also, you know, you can put clothes, you know, like in the last minute when you're on a run, uh, you have like less than one hour, like things that you need. Uh, warm clothes, usually warm clothes because now we are still having winter. So warm clothes, it can be really good to have. Hi. So this garbage bag is really, really good. And I hope you get hold of this because during this time when I go to the shop supermarket here you already seen some items running down uh, 
and I will can guarantee you that it's going to be more and more expensive as the day go by. I can guarantee you that because this few day this few days when we were shopping, I already started noticing some of the price. And in fact, the other day when I went to the supermarket, uh, the Asian supermarket, the lady uh, told me, hey, you had better start stocking up rice. I said, why? You said, you do you know not only Asian people come here, now the Swedish people come here. And I said, okay, and what do they buy? Asian food? No, they came here to stock up things like that. And then uh, rice, they buy like, you know, 20, 40, 50 kilo of rice, which has never been happened before in their in time. So they told me, since, you know, we are good friends, you better buy it now. But I told her I already stock up quite a lot of rice. And I usually don't like to eat rice so much because it's not so healthy. But it is a staple food that you must get. So rice... Uh, can be very good because you can make congee you know you just need very little rice and lots of water and then you can feed a lot of people which is really really uh, a good comfort food and it's also good for your stomach because when you are running from <clears throat> you know whatever things it is and when you're under evacuated a evacuation situation you need to have fluid you might be under a lot of stress and you know stress can give you diarrhea so with the congee you can help to prevent that so that is very important and another thing that i would suggest that you buy is uh, ziploc bags all kinds of sizes i have three four different kind of sizes uh, and the reason why I have Ziploc bags, I'm going to tell you and show you why, alright? So, let me just put this aside and show you. This is my medicine box. Alright, my medicine box is filled with um, like the pack, you know. So, I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag. And also, I have scissors here. I have scissors here and then I have all these are plaster. You need this because you never know what's going to happen. You might be injured. Somebody might be injured. You might be able to help them. So it is good to have all the bandage, you know, in a plastic bag so that, you know, in case it gets rain or you, it will not be damaged. So Ziploc is really good. And also I have one... Ah, let me show you. I have a few different types of uh, plaster. You need a lot of plaster because if you're going on the foot, your leg might be sore. And then sometimes between the toe might be painful, right? So we have all this kind of uh, plaster. It's like a gel where you could put between your toe if you happen to get a sore there. So it will help you to protect so you can walk further. And also very, very important is that you must have a good socks don't go and get those cheap it's better that your feet is still warm than cold all right because when you are cold from the feet you will be cold throughout your whole body so that is something that i you must have and if you are staying in an asian country it is also good to have socks maybe you don't need to have a wool socks but maybe uh, why am i talking asian country we're talking about <laughs> In Europe right not Asian country I don't know I just hope that you know this thing will go over as soon as possible it has been a very stressful time this time and I I I was just looking at all my stuff and I was just saying I'm gonna get rid of whatever stuff that I can have like clothing you know if there's any uh, refugees that need that you know I have already packed some of the clothes that will be useful so let me know, all right, if you need some clothes. And also in this bag, again, you see, I packed them in the Ziploc. And I have this like a tiger palm, you know, I'll show you. <laughs> right, we are old people. So in case you need to have um, ligaments, <laughs> ligaments, we call it. So this is very good. So you can have, ah, you carry the bag the whole day. And your bag is all sore, right? So this kind of bag is very good in case, you know, you have injured yourself. 
and then also some ligaments for uh, applying so for massaging and also some sp nose spray is very good and also very important uh, insect repellent uh, Sweden we have a lot of insects especially mosquito during the spring and early summer so that is really important and you know the pharmacy nowadays they are also trying to stock up and they already increased the price i saw that you know they have certain repellent that is uh, like <laughs> very expensive so that is really really a must all right and also something for the nose if you can get the like the stuffy nose uh, or maybe you get some insect bite so this is definitely a must and also some alcohol if you need to clean the wound, wound. Uh, and also I have some mask here uh, again I put them in the ziplock and also earplugs I put them in a small container like this and also I have some COVID test so I thought maybe maybe it should it's good to have so I know that if I'm sick again I know who to you know i know what to do so i don't go near people especially old people and also some uh painkiller and allergy pill because some people i am allergic to pollen and um, you know certain things uh maybe some certain animal fur uh cv i'm not so allergic but i can be allergic to dogs so allergy pill is very important and also these are for the eyes because my eye tends to be dry when I am stressed, you know. So bring those medicines that um that you think that you might need, like diarrhea. This is for diarrhea. So it's very important because you know the pharmacy or uh, not the pharmacy, the clinic will definitely be closed. There will not be any uh, doctors running unless you are in an emergency uh, you want to be able to lighten the burden of the health uh, department so this is something that you can do to protect yourself from falling sick so I pack them into all this in a, in a box like this so I know okay in terms of emergency I just need to grab this box and put it in the car and, and just leave all right so here i have another things which is very important aluminum foil aluminum foil is very good because you can actually cook with this you know in case you need to cook uh in case there is a like a bonfire in case you have to uh you don't have like a, a, a grill with you so this is something that is really good and it's also very good if you could use it as a reflector to signal the plane if you know they you want somebody to find you so this is also going to run out because i saw that the stock is like getting lower and lower and and then for your protection of your um, whole body i think it is very important to keep yourself warm so wool socks are uh, very important the reason why i say wool socks is more compared to cotton uh, you just need to air dry them and then they will keep you warmer and another thing that I would also suggest this is actually my own <laughs> this is actually my own raincoat can be really really good to have um, I bought one for LG and one for myself this is white so this it can be visible you know in case you are being trapped uh, or maybe you are in a forest people can spot you from far text you from rain and this wrinkle is very good because it's really like oversized very big uh, i purposely buy the big one because you were thinking i was thinking maybe we need to carry the bag right so it's better to wear the whole thing on or uh, maybe you can buy a poncho too but this is uh, definitely much easier because i realized poncho is like if there's a wing you know it would be very difficult then the sleeve the the sleeve will f fly up here and there so it can block your version vision and then this i think it's much uh here it's a meat hat we call that <laughs> this one looks 
uh, like a net yeah you don't have to buy this but if you don't if you cannot find this in the store uh, you can sew them yourself this is for protection for um, the insect like mosquito and you know in Sweden it's a lot of mosquito so what you do is you wear your hat and then you put it on top let me just show you all right so you have a good laugh uh, so you just wear your hat so it will not come right in front of you so the mosquito will not attack you on your face directly it will be very irritating you'll come around you but at least you know if you have a head so they are a distant from you huh? you have to keep social distance from mosquitoes okay so I have two one for me and one for LG so I am currently today uh, oh duct tape did I mention duct tape <laughs> the reason why you need duct tape uh, and also you need plastic uh, foil you know so why you need duct tape is uh, in case you have to walk in the icy snowy uh, forest so a duct tape you know you can wrap let's say this is your leg right like that <laughs> like that right your leg so you have to wrap around the plastic and then with this duct tape you can stabilize the plastic and then it will prevent your feet from getting wet this way you will not freeze smart right so very easy up to your own fantasy you can you know buy the plastic wraps that is going uh, like uh, 10 to 15 meters you probably need around just two meters per leg and then two meters per leg so you calculate how many uh, meters you need and how many of you are in the family so this definitely is something that you should get I'm planning to get more I should have got the biggest one you can find because um, during this kind of time uh, you know your window is it, uh, you need to cover your window because uh, there are chances that people might uh, come and rob you or maybe your enemy come and attack you or maybe somebody uh, need food and they come in you know to see if they can find any food so it's better to protect yourself uh, and also when you when it's concerning food I will not be showing you guys what kind of all the food that I bought because uh, you know of safety reason uh, but I will be showing you what are the food that you can buy all right what are the food that you can buy and what are the tools that you can use uh, yesterday I tried to warm up you know do a few experiments like in case I don't have electricity what can I do you know in, uh, if I need to warm up my food uh, so I did an experiment it was quite successful so I'm going to share it with you on my next live stream um, let me know um, what you want to know more because I'm not an expert I'm just somebody that I learn from other people and I put this into a practical point of view and look at it and see really do I need all this stuff uh, because some of the stuff you really don't need so on my next video I'm going to share with you what are the survival uh, things that you need uh, especially your pantry what kind of food you should buy uh, what kind of food I buy <laughs> or rather what kind of food I buy so I hope you guys uh, have uh, some information uh, and I hope seriously it's useful for you if you find this useful please give a thumbs up uh, and I'll see you in my next video um, I don't think so I would have time to do any um, any video editing Yesterday, I made some energy bar. So, uh, the energy bar I have filmed, but I don't have time to edit it. But what I will do is that I'll try to make them into shorter video so you can see if I have time. Because currently, I'm trying to, you know, experiment how to make like my own powdered food, like uh, powdered mushroom. Uh, powdered seasoning so I don't have to carry a bunch of you know instant noodle with me but I can just use the same seasoning to cook so 
right now I'm working on uh, how to preserve a uh, certain food. So you see, it's a lot of things that you need to think. Uh, preparing is something that you need to do in advance because you don't want to to stress out. You don't want to be in this panic mode. So I regret not doing that earlier on, but you know, while I still can, I'll just do my best um, and you know, hopefully all this information will be useful for you. So, okay. Um, I hope I have more time to do more packing because today I plan to just pack some of the things. I make a shelf outside, which is for my uh, survival, <coughs> um, we call it a survival cupboard or a survival shelf where I organize everything like light things. What do I need for light things? So I accumulate all my lights, uh, like candles, all in one shelf. And then we need first aid, like this one already almost done. It's not fully done yet, but I'm going to include more things. Uh, so it's better to prepare those things that you can do and go around the house, find open cupboard. I've been doing that the whole day today and yesterday. Pick up all those things that you think that you might need. So you don't have to go and buy. And also, when you can buy now, it's better you buy now when it is still affordable. Don't wait anymore until like, oh, maybe I'll be free next week. Oh, maybe I'll free, uh, you know. Don't. It's now that you have to plan this. And, you know, it's good to do this in advance. Um, I really don't know what to say more. But I'm just feeling the 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 not panic but uh, the stress level so uh i at the same time i'm also thinking about what kind of information i should share because not every information i can so subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in my next bye bye